The place that I want to map was a cultural institution in Inglewood in the, the late 80s, early 90s, the Boulevard Arts Center. Uh, initially, I started to take painting classes there when I was like in seventh, eighth grade. And at that time, they were operating out of a school off like 55th near uh, Racine and Halstead, somewhere in between there. You know, from there, they actually got a building, 6011 Justine, an old Catholic church. And then that became like the headquarters of their programming and everything else. I continued with painting classes. I think my teacher was Greg Spears, a uh, really dope painter, figurative painter. I started to take drama as well with uh, Dina Rutledge. That was like my drama teacher. You had uh, Marcus Akalana, you know, doing murals on the building and other programming. You had Lori Go teaching dance. You had the Alayo Dance Company. You had the AACM, Andre Gachard. You had Roman and Maria Villarreal. You had David Philpot. You had David Boykin. You had Milton Meisenberg. You had Dorian Sylvain. You had Mr. Imagination. You had Bob Richards. You had Tyamba Jess. You had Dale Washington. You had Mom Sar. He had Maury Cable from Senegal. You had Alan Stringfellow. You had William Carter. You had Willie Carter. You had Melvin King. You had Richard Hunt, Margaret Burroughs. You had all these, these artists either teaching, donating art to keep the art center funded or, you know, doing programs or, you know, being a part of the art shows that they had there. And I mean, at this time, this is probably the only place you could really show art in Inglewood in the gallery set. And I mean, they would have all women shows. They would have, you know, uh, I think one time they featured the Negro of Mexico where they w went out and took photographs of the just the, the lifestyle of uh, the black Mexicans. Besides, you know, just having all these artists there. I mean, they had a summer program every summer employing the youth of the neighborhood and painting, dance, um, video, poetry, you know, just the, the full gambit of uh, arts and education thing. And I mean, it became actually the blueprint for after school matters. Besides that, I mean, they had uh, uh, their own store where you could buy things made by, you know, artists of the community, you know, painted shoes, painted bags, handmade items, uh, framed artwork, just the whole clothing, just the whole deal, you know, in, in these two spaces. I think the store was like on 61st and Ashland. So it was like, you know, on the main strip. But it was just like all these people were coming together in this space and creating so much. I mean, they had festivals there for the youth and, you know, even like some graffiti luminaries would be there like Raven and Zora. I learned can control from those guys there at the, one of the festivals that they had. They had movie screenings. You had uh, totally positive productions throwing talent shows for the neighborhood. You have rappers coming from all over the city, singers coming from all over the cities, just, you know, to get a, a place, a chance. I mean, I threw my first ever, you know, party concert there, you know, in, in that space. They would let you uh, use the church and you could just move the pews out the way and, you know, set up your, your performance. I started to to teach eventually there. I was teaching like a, a preschool kindergarten art class on Saturdays and, you know, being a docent, you know, for the gallery shows, learning how to frame art, learning how to hang art, and then, you know, perfecting my, my practice within the classes and then getting, you know, those critiques from these artists that are in the field, you know, were, were invaluable. The push, you know, with Patricia Devine Reed, executive director and founder, my mom, Marty Price, artistic director there, just really were in all angles trying to figure out how to activate the community and then bring things to the community that were needed, but also things that could empower, you know, the youth there. And, you know, as I, as I think back to it, like, man, like when else could you get all those people in one space? I mean, you could even do that now. Some of those people have passed away, et cetera. But just all that power, you know, in, in one space is amazing. And for it to be in Inglewood is a testament, you know, of community, of 
you know, where the arch really lie. You know, it's not necessarily in this glossy place. It's just in any space where people are pushing for culture. Wow, to be a part of that, to see that. It, it definitely changed me and it really made me see you could create what you want to see where you're at. You don't have to go anywhere to create it. You could create it where you are.